My name is Alyssa Pointer. I am a visual journalist with the Atlanta Journal-Constitution and I've been working at the AJC for two years now. Um, everyone knows that when the president comes to your city, there's a big hoopla when it comes to traffic and Atlanta already has bad traffic. So I'm driving on 285, getting ready to get on 400 and I realize no one's moving. And I'm like, why is no one moving? And it just so happened that the motorcade was getting ready to go the same direction I was gonna go. So I had to find a different way to get to Centennial Olympic Park from Dunwoody in 40 minutes, um, which found itself nearly impossible. And by the time I got there with all my equipment, I'm running up to the uh, area, no one's there. Protesters have left. I'm freaking out because I'm supposed to be getting this image for print publication for online to show what's going on. So I see a reporter setting up her shot and I'm like, where are the people? Please tell me the people are still here. They didn't leave. She said, no, they're just running up to the Georgia World Congress Center. I said, great. Got two cameras on my body that weigh probably 10, 11 pounds together. And I start running to the Georgia World Congress Center and I'm panicking because I'm like, I missed everything. This is not okay, um, but we're gonna make it work. So I, I'm running, I get to the area, and just so happened the protesters were just protesting outside the Georgia World Congress Center. And that was the same area that the um, Black Voices for Trump rally was happening. And then all of a sudden, to my right, a man walks up with a um, Make Black America Great Again uh, red hat and starts yelling, Trump 2020, Trump 2020. And in my mind, I'm like, how lucky that this, you know, this um, clash is happening in front of me. I was the only journalist in the area um, taking the pictures. And so the one sole Trump supporter starts yelling at the guy with the blow horn. They kind of get into it. Another Trump supporter walks up and then there's this altercation that was mostly verbal that happened between them. And the whole time I'm just taking pictures because I'm like, wow, I don't know how I'm here, but I'm here. I'm getting the photos. Um, they end up walking away, the police separate them, and then the journalist who happened to hear kind of the commotion kind of ran up and got the aftermath. Um, but I don't think there was any other um, visual representation of what happened. And I was really lucky, which I think photojournalism is part being in the right place at the right time and luck um, and knowing what you're doing. That's what a lot of veteran photojournalists tell me. I mean, they say you can be in the place, but if you don't know what you're doing, you could miss the action. Um, so I think I was really lucky to be in that place. I happened to find the reporter. I was like, hey, you need to talk to these people. Um, and we actually got a really good story out of it. So I was really happy that I didn't, uh, I guess, turn around and say, okay, well, it's over, so I can't get anything. I kind of followed through, which is what I've been taught to do. Um, and as a photojournalist, you kind of just, you never come back without a photo.